I moved to China in 2012. To be honest, I didn't have a lofty goal at that time. Uh, it was both an impulsive and kind of planned decision at the same time. On one hand, you know, as an overseas Chinese, I've always felt like a genuine connection and curiosity towards China. And on the other hand, you know, with my professional hat on, I, I knew that immersing myself in China's thriving business environment would be a good career exercise. Not China, and, and moving to China at that point kind of gave me all of that and, and more. I don't think many countries in the world would embody rapid change and development more so than China. And I experienced that firsthand these past 10 years. You know, China's infrastructure allows for you know, very plentiful, diverse, and high quality like startup ecosystem and very innovative tech industry among others essentially is a global platform committed to closing the funding gap for women. A lot of women uh, who were entrepreneurs working in tech and facing many, many challenges as they kind of go on their journeys. And so we really wanted to create like, again, like a stage and, and a, co a competition really um, to, to be able to showcase and spotlight them and to, to give you know them the visibility that they deserve. And um, along the way, uh, from that initial idea of just creating a stage, we have, you know, basically started to focus more on uh, basically closing the funding gap, right? Because along the way, we started to notice that it's not just about like the, the lack of visibility, right? It's also the lack of investment and the lack of opportunities that the women uh, kind of get, like the type of resources that they get. Um, if, if if you are aware, uh, you know, that obviously there's, there's a lot, there's a lack of participation of women in tech, but actually a larger problem is the lack of investment that goes into women in tech. Um, just over the past years, as you know, women in tech becomes more and more like a, a hot topic. Uh, the, the 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 numbers of, of you know basically the, the the percentage of funding that goes into women have predominantly stayed the same, right? It's still at two percent. So two percent of of funding all over the world, basically only 2% goes into women. And so we made it our, our mission to basically solve this problem. To answer your, your question, Vika, about you know some of the challenges we face in, in growing this platform as well, um, ultimately is also the uh, the funding as well as the, the scale the scaling that we have uh, achieved, right? On one hand, it's something that we're incredibly proud of and, and very uh, happy to have achieved like over the years. But this fast like scaling as well has been a huge challenge for us because, you know, we're not, uh, we like to joke that, you know, we're, we're a multinational company, right? We operate in like 50 over countries, co very comparative to, you know, large companies. But unfortunately, we aren't a multinational company. So we lack uh, sufficient resources to be able to really uh, make the best impact that we we hope we can and so uh, over the years we had to be very uh, creative and resourceful in terms of how we operated and and managed our uh, our, our company our organization um, being a nonprofit, we had to you know be creative in terms of how we work with you don't think about it right and if you think about what the worst thing that happened actually you realize that oh actually it's not it's not a big thing. Right? It's nothing. It, it won't kill you, basically. And and after kind of asking myself that question every time I, I'm faced with a challenge or suddenly I feel fearful or you know just anxious about something, then you know everything kind of is put into perspective, and I managed to kind of persist and continue with uh, what I want to do. But one thing I would say that dramatically changed the way that I live, uh, work, and just how I view myself like over the years is basically asking myself the question, what is the worst thing that could happen? Um, and I've always been a perfectionist, but somehow, I don't know, I, I don't know what, tri what what triggered me, but like somehow, you know, I, I managed to kind of following what, um, you know, echoing what Kala said, right? Like little steps um, or just persistence right um, with that uh, mindset I've always asked myself you know what is the worst thing that can happen like you know there's there's nothing to fear really